everybody just calm down. <laughs> What's going on, my little friends? I'm Mr. Billy, librarian, creator of Three King Visions. Are y'all ready for story? <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe to the Best No Kids Show on YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. But hold on, hold up, my little ones. Where's Busy? 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 Have you seen Busy? Have we seen him? Whoa, there goes Busy. Everyone say, hello, oh, Busy. I know, I know. We got an amazing story today. What? Before we get started, our song of the day is with my little hands. My little ones, hold your hands up like this. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh, follow Mr. Billy. Here we go. With my little hands, I go clap, clap, clap. With my little feet, I go tap, tap, tap. With my little hands, I wave, ha, ha, ha. With my little legs, I kick, ha, ha, ha. Oh man, we have a special, special story today. Our story of the day is Journey's Magic Crayons, written by Tiffany Adams, illustrated by Tyrus Goldshay. Hey, Dizzy, what do you have to say? Oh man, Mr. Benny, I love this story. Journey's Magic Crayons. Oh man, shout out to Tiffany Adams and shout out to Tyrus Goldshay. I love that, Dizzy. I love that, man. You are so nice, Dizzy. Let's see what happens in this story. Oh man, I'm so excited. Journey woke. Oh, to the smell of coffee and maple syrup. She was happy because she knew that mommy was making pancakes. Ah. Yeah, and pancakes were her favorite breakfast food. It was the first day of summer and Journey was looking forward to going to the beach today. Oh, you know what? Busy, what do you have to say, man? Oh man, Mr. Billy, I love pancakes. That's my favorite breakfast food. I love maple syrup too. Mm -mm, good. Busy, I think you get a lot, man. Everybody just calm down. Journey hopped out of bed and went to the bathroom to wash her face and brush her teeth. Can I see my little ones brush their teeth right now? Yeah. She smiled at herself in the mirror and returned to her room to get dressed. Whoa, that's pretty cool right there. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> Journey headed towards the kitchen to find mommy. Mommy was in the kitchen making breakfast. Good morning, Journey. Mommy greeted. Good morning, mommy. Journey said excitedly, "Mommy, are we having? Are we leaving for the beach after breakfast?" <gasps> Journey, it's been raining all morning. We will need to wait until after the rain stops before heading to the beach. Mommy replied, hoping that the rain had already stopped. Journey ran to the window and was disappointed to see that. It was still raining. Her earlier excitement became sadness. Oh. <laughs> Why did it have to rain today out of all days? Journey thought to herself as she dropped her shoulders and sat down to eat her breakfast. Oh no, what's going on here, y'all? After breakfast, Journey felt a little bit better. Decided to go to her room to play with her toys, hoping it would stop raining soon. And she sat down on the floor and played with her teddy bear. <gasps> After about an hour, Journey grew tired of playing with her toys and went back to the window. Oh no! <laughs> Journey went in search of mommy and found her folding clothes in the laundry room. Whoa, that's pretty interesting right there. Wow. 
to see what happens next. Uh oh, mommy, do you think it's gonna rain all day? Edge journey, I'll make it rain, I'll clear it out, I'll make it rain, I'll clear it out. Yes, journey, it looks like it's gonna rain all day, replied mommy. We probably won't be going to the beach today. Oh no, wonder what's gonna happen next. Wow, let's see what happens next. Journey walked back into the kitchen and sat down at the table. She was tired of playing with her toys, and she realized that she wouldn't be able to go outside today either because of the rain. She had to find something to do to make the time go by. As she jumped up from the table, Journey exclaimed, I know what I can do, and she ran to find Mommy. <laughs> Journey yelled excitedly. Yes, Journey. What is it? Asked Mommy. Mommy, I am six years old. Journey stated proudly. Grandpa said that when I turn six years old, that I will be old enough to draw with the crown that he bought when he went on a trip to Egypt. Remember, Mommy? Remember? Journey asked. And Mommy laughed. She said, Yes, Journey. I remember. And yes, you be playing with the crayons. Go to your room, get some paper, and sit down at your desk. I will go get the crayons for you. Yeah! <laughs> oh, let's see what happens next. <laughs> Journey giggled with the excitement as she ran to a room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she got some paper and sat down at her desk. Mommy came in with the crowns that were in a class box. <laughs> Whoa. Journey, make sure that you take care of these crayons. Grandpa said, they are priceless. He bought them especially for you. You're a big girl now. I want you to use your imagination, and draw me a picture to hang on the refrigerator. Wow. Oh. I'll be careful, Mommy, Journey promised. Whoa, that's pretty cool right there. You know what? Let's see what Busy has to say. Hey, Busy, what do you have to say about that? You know what I'm saying? Dude, oh, man, I love crayons, man. I love crayons. My favorite color is yellow. Whoa, OK. Everybody just calm down. Journey already knew what she wanted to draw because she wanted to go to the beach today. She decided to draw a picture of herself playing at the beach. Wow. Yeah, Journey carefully took out her crayons and drew the sky and the ocean. Whoa. Let's see what happens next. She drew the sun and the sand. She drew fish jumping out of the water and seagulls standing on the shore. Whoa, that's pretty cool right there. Pretty cool. Skipping around on the paper, she drew and drew and she remembered things that she had seen at the beach. Journey was so into her drawing that she had no idea as what was going on around her. She drew seashells and sand crabs. Oh, I need a beach ball and a bucket and a shovel, she says. I let her she continue to draw. After drawing a few more things, finally, her picture was done. She was happy with what she had dreamed. Whoa! <laughs> Down the muckle, muckle. Let's see. When Journey looked up from a drawing, she was in awe. Her room had transformed into the beach. It was beautiful. Beautiful. The, the smell of the beach was refreshing. Journey was excited. Finally, she was at the beach. She dug her toes into the warm sand. She looked up at the sky and let the sun warm her face. Just act like we're looking at the sun. Whoa. Let's see what happens next. 
Journey grabbed her beach ball, ran into the ocean, and splashed in the cold water. As she tossed her ball in the air, some of the water landed in her mouth as she laughed. <laughs> oh, the water tasted salty on her tongue. Journey could feel the small fish swim over her feet. Whoa! Uh-oh, Journey wanted to make a sand castle. She ran out to the shore to get her bucket. She filled her bucket with water, built up a mound of sand, and slowly transformed her sand castle. Wow. Hey, Busy. Oh, Mr. Billy, I love making sand castles. Oh, man, when the next time can we go to the beach, Mr. Billy? Please. Yes, Dizzy, yes, we can go to the beach. You're my best friend. When the sandcastle was done, Journey just sat on shore and watched the waves in distance. Journey, called mom. Yes, mommy, Journey replied as her room reappeared and the beach disappeared. Whoa, it's time for dinner. Said Mommy, I'm coming, Mommy, said Journey as she packed up her crayons and placed them back into the glass box. These were magical crayons. And Journey placed them safely on the dresser near her bed. Yeah! Oh, after dinner, Journey went to take a bath. She smiled and <laughs> as she thought about her adventure today. Journey was tired. Oh, and got herself ready for bed. Oh. Oh. As Journey sat on her bed, looking outside, at the sky, she began to think of all the places she would go. She could go anywhere. She wondered if Grandpa knew what the crayons could do. Whoa. <laughs> On my next adventure, I'll go to Egypt. Journey exclaimed in excitement. She wanted to know more about the place where Grandma and Grandpa got the crayons. Journey finally. Oh. Dozed off and began dreaming about her next adventure. Whoa! <laughs> Mommy went to check on Journey and found her asleep. Can we act like we sleep, my little ones? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She gave Journey a kiss and made sure that she was all covered up. Whoa. Mommy went into the bathroom, and as she picked up Jerry's clothes, she noticed sand everywhere. Mommy wondered where all the sand came from because she knew Jerry had been in the house all day. She would be sure to ask Jerry about the sand tomorrow. Hmm. Did her imagination really come true? Whoa, did it? Good job, good job, good job, everybody. Oh, man, please support this great author, Journey's Magic Crayons, written by Tiffany Adams. This is an amazing book. I love the illustration, but whoa, whoa, something just got in my eye. Whoa, 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 what was that? Guess what it's time for, y'all? It's time. It's time for the Bumblebee song. My little one, hold your hands up like this. Here we go. I'm bringing on my baby Bumblebee. Want my Bumblebee be so proud of me. I'm bringing on my baby Bumblebee. Oh, it's Snoopy! What we gonna do next, y'all? We gonna squish the bumblebee. I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Oh, it's the 
the three king visions we appreciate all your support and remember it's all about the kids good night